is a video for teachers who want to use uh, Google Drive to create a reading log for their entire class and how you can set this up quickly if this is how you prefer to do reading logs on a spreadsheet. Um, so I have a document here, a spreadsheet, and this is already shared with my entire class. So they're already shared with this document, so that's fine. And what I want to do first is just make a quick template. So I'm going to call this first tab the template. And you can decide uh, what do you want in your reading log for your students. So I will have, for example, uh, the date, the title, the author, and pages read. Now, <clears throat> uh, you may want to make this a little bit longer because the title will be longer, maybe a little bit more space for the author. And you can customize this however you want to. Um, you can add genre or anything you want, but this is going to be the template. And once this is ready, then you can duplicate. And you'll do this several times, but each of these tabs will be for a different student. So I'm going to duplicate it again. And then I can rename these tabs based upon my students' names. So in alphabetical order, first we have Ina. Second would be Anne. And I can continue doing this until all of my students have their own tab. Okay, so for the reading log, now Anne at home can go put in the books that she's read uh, each night. Okay, this is fine. You can put your whole class in and leave it like this and it will still work fine. However, uh, if you leave it like this, all of the students can see and edit each other's tabs. And you may or may not want that uh, option available. So if you prefer to keep one reading log for the whole class but each student has their own tab which is private, you can do that by clicking on this and going to protect sheet. So now uh, who is allowed to edit this sheet? I would say me and the collaborators selected below. So I need to find this student's name or email. And now this sheet is protected, so only she can edit. And that's a quick, simple way to create a reading log for your whole class. Uh, when it's finished, it will look something like this. So this is from last year, and you can see students put their books in here, and each student has their